after the UK left the EU on January 31st, a transition period applies until the end of 2020. During this time, the bilateral agreements between Switzerland and the EU will also apply to the UK. With its Mind the Gap strategy, the Swiss Federal Council is ensuring legal continuity beyond Brexit. Mutual rights and obligations should be preserved and, where possible, expanded. The United Kingdom left the European Union on January 31st, as I said, and when the UK left, a transition period began until December 31st, during which the bilateral agreements between Switzerland and the EU do continue to apply to the UK. Thereafter, a new regime of bilateral agreements between Switzerland and the UK will come into effect. As part of its Mind the Gap strategy, Switzerland concluded a series of new agreements with the UK early in the areas of trade, migration, road and air transport and insurance. The aim of the Mind the Gap strategy is to secure existing mutual rights and obligations as far as possible. In addition, in a second step, cooperation between Switzerland and the UK, where this is in the interest of both parties, is to be expanded beyond the current status. That's the so-called Mind the Gap Plus. With the exit of the United Kingdom on January 31st and the end of the transition period on December 31st, the UK is also leaving the scope of EU technical law and thus the system of CE conformity unless an agreement on the mutual recognition of conformity assessments has been reached by then. In the event of a disorderly exit, the UK becomes a third country overnight for Switzerland, but also for the EU, in the area of product approvals. As a precaution, Switzerland therefore concluded a trade agreement with the UK in February 2019. In spite of this agreement, any non-contractual status between the EU and UK has an impact on Swiss products that are not to be marketed in the UK. In the aforementioned trade agreement, Switzerland and the UK only contractually secured the status quo for three product categories, namely motor vehicles, recognition of type approval, good laboratory practice and good manufacturing practice for pharmaceuticals, because these categories are based on international standards. For the remaining 17 product categories, which are regulated um, between Switzerland and the EU and are based on European standards, no agreement could be reached with the UK in the absence of an agreement on the harmonization of product regulations between the UK and the EU. This affects, among others, machines, pressure equipment, radio systems, ATEX products and electri electrical products. The conclusion of an agreement between the UK and the EU seems increasingly unlikely. And that's the point. And that's why I made this video. A lot of people bring up the deals the UK has made in the meantime or some prolonged deals and so on and what successes those are and that nothing will change or it will be better in the future. And the Swiss deal of the UK is the best example why you should stop reading headlines and have a look into these deals. Most of the areas for the trade in goods are not cleared in this deal this time. And they won't be until there is a deal between the UK and the EU. Because otherwise the Swiss will be in trouble when trading with the EU. And they definitely will not give up the bigger market for a smaller market. And so have a look at the details and not there is a deal. Yeah, but you have to look at the deal what it is. And before you ask again about the Japan deal, by now you should know that I have a normal job, that I do this in my spare time and I have to find the time for such a complex video uh, like the Japan one. It will take more time. I can't tell you when it comes out. It's not running away anyway. The deal will be there for quite some time. Um, but I really have to find the time for something like this. Um, please remember, I do this in my spare time while I have to produce scripts for many more videos and those other ones are much easier to make. So for a complex one like the last one I used in my premiere, I do need time and I do have to find this time. I haven't found it for the Japan video yet, especially when I had to take a lot of time away from my other stuff um, just for reading that deal and making my notes. And putting these notes into a script to make a video takes a lot of time as well. So be patient please 
uh, it will take some more time. I can't tell you when it will be, but it will come, but you will find out when it comes. And if you want to see something else I already produced, YouTube has chosen another of my videos right here for you in the end screen next to the subscribe button. If you're waiting for this, you should subscribe so you'll be informed when the videos come up. And if you're interested in global news and politics or European news and politics, those two channels are right up there. I'll see you in my next video. Click and enjoy. Viel Spaß!